Virgo, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a the second part of your weekly series here. Um, all right, so today is Tuesday, the 22nd. <laughs> all right, so let's see um, what's going on. What's going on next here? Is this going to be a four-part story or is something new coming up? All right, so let's see. All right, so we're going to start with that Lenormand card. We're going to use a new deck and see what comes up here for Virgo. Whoops. All right, so here we go. Here we have the situation. Here we have what you're man manifesting. Here we have your details and your guidance. Okay, so what do we got here? Okay, so we have the tree. Okay, so the tree represents growth. It represents being firmly rooted in what it is that you want to grow. This is about growth in love. Number five, indicates that you are upon some type of change. Some type of situation here is changing. What is that? The sun. So this is about growing happiness. Okay. So, you know, this almost feels like this could be the next step if you take that passionate step towards something. If you take that risk, if you are that fool that we saw in part one. So what is it that you're manifesting from growing happiness? Knight of Cups. What is this? This is romance. This is a secret love. So you are manifesting a secret love. This is card of Pisces. You might be um, manifesting a Pisces. The sun can be Leo energy. What are the details around this? The seven of cups. This is somebody or something that you have been fantasizing about. Okay, so that's, this is telling me, all of this is telling me that whether you like it or not, your, your heart is involved. Okay, so, you know, don't give me any of this queen of swords stuff. This is... This is you being emotionally involved. So remember, we had temperance in the guidance. And temperance is about balancing the emotion and the passion. And it feels like a lot of this emotion that you have needs some of that masculine passion. The guidance here, wouldn't be surprised if it is fire. Here it is, page of wands. Okay, this is... Pages, messages, messengers, okay? A passionate message. <laughs> I mean, you can't get more um, direct than that. So the guidance here is, you know, this can be flirtation. It can be, it's about sharing something that comes from a deep emotional place in your heart, but doing it with, a level of passion and that is what grows the happiness in the situation around a secret love that you've been fantasizing about Ooh. all right so let's see all right so I want to look at the Sun and I want to look at Page of Wands. <coughs> Excuse. Okay, so for the sun, which is about the situation, growing a situation, a happy situation. Three of Cups, celebration. I feel like if you find that passion in your communication, we're going to be celebrating something and then Page of Wands, Eight of Swords, 
Oh boy. Okay, so what I feel like this is saying is <clears throat> this is really heavy emotional energy, all right? Knight of Cups says that you've been carrying around that cup of feelings, of possibly attraction, of fantasies. You've been carrying that around for a while. So, you know, you've made it something in your head, right? You've created a certain fantasy. You might have put somebody on a pedestal. So, I feel like the Eight of Swords is is just that. You've created a situation in your head. It's bigger in your head than, than it has to be in real life. It feels big to you because your heart is completely involved. So I feel like Spirit is saying here, you have to, you kind of have to unwrap yourself from the fantasy world that you've cre created around a particular situation or person because you've made it not bigger than it is, but you've, it's like you're very attached to a story that you've created in your head. And now it's the time to, you know, take these ropes off, take that blindfold off and actually live it. It actually could be better than the fantasy. Knight of Cups, Devil. All right, so this is card of Capricorn. This is what I mean. This is the, you know, energy of being bonded, I feel like, to a story. Okay, we've got soulmate energy here. This is the, the dark side of the lovers. And I feel like, um, you know, the dark side of the lovers is a little bit for you. There's a little bit um, of an obsession going on here. And I don't mean in a dark, scary way. But because, again, you've been living in a, a particular story that you've created in your own head. You're kind of obsessed with that story. Okay, and especially for a Virgo, you know, who gets very tied up in the details, I feel like it's time to surrender those details and allow the universe to lead you and allow your passion to lead you. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's take a look at the Seven of Cups. Justice, Libra. Okay, so I feel like if you allow the truth to come out, you have to let the truth come out The truth needs to come out. One more. Lovers. There it is. All right, so we've got the dark and the light here. So it's just about, you know, it's like we've got the balance here, the dark and the light. Allow the truth to come out either to the secret love or about the fact that you've carried secret love for somebody that you've been fantasizing about, but I feel like the lovers here, the truth of the lovers, the truth of the situation without the obsessive quality of this has to be perfect. Okay, so let's use these cards. Romance angels, let's see what the romance angels have to say about this. Definitely feeling romance here. For Virgo. Okay. Express your love. 
Okay, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yes, do that, please. And what else? Isn't that interesting? You deserve love. So it's like <clears throat> we've got... We've got the dark side, right? The devil, you know, you might not feel like, you know, the devil could be coming from a sense of not deserving this type of love that you've created in your, in your fantasy world. And then we've got the light side, you know, of the lovers over here, right? It's like it makes an X. You might be going after a woman, where did that come from? I have no clue, <laughs> okay? But this applies to this, this applies to this. You know, so expressing your love, expressing your truth. I feel like brings out your light. Hiding in the darkness of your fantasies, you know, makes you question whether you deserve love. All right, part two, Virgo, that's what we have. All right, so uh, we will come back tomorrow and we will do part three and we will go from there. All right, thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.